How you feel about Jackal dropping numbers on the new blower only after four days and y'all still going ongoing nine plus months with no numbers to show yeah. troll face. Um, <laughs> well, how long? Okay. Let's just establish the facts here. How long has it been since? Oh gosh. We've been actually tuning. On uh, August, November. Yeah. So it hasn't been nine months. Thank you for the straw man. I, it's, 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 it's a been, good question. Honestly, I'd have to go look. It's been maybe months. three, four months, which is well within a time frame for us to develop an engineering yeah, test. Yeah, but I mean, it's been, it's also over the holidays and all that jazz, but yeah, yeah I mean, uh, hold on. And then, um, and, and so dropping numbers is very easy. Anyone yeah. can do that. Right. Um, we could have dropped numbers. Like I said, three months ago uh, after, you know, spending an afternoon on the dyno, it's not hard to just get in there and, um, change, um, you know, some values that will raise the boost and, and add some more fuel and, maybe compensate a little bit of timing. That's very easy to do. Um, so our goal is not to drop numbers. I don't know if you think that's a, a really impressive thing to do, but that's not our goal. Our goal is to, to develop an engineer and do the R and D on a calibration that will offer a world-class driving experience, safe uh, and amazing performance. Uh, that doesn't take three or four days. And uh, dropping numbers isn't what we do. We're not like a, a number dropping company. So we're, we're an engineering R and D company. Um, and we're also balancing, you know, the development effort with many other things too. We support um, the Mark seven platform, the Mark eight, all the new current state of the art stuff. We're working on cracking uh, new TCUs, stuff that nobody else uh, has, has done. We're developing our server, our mobile app, we we're the, the biggest and best B9 tuner with the most support in the world. So yeah, you know, mobile, let's get my mobile flash launched yeah. within that time. So these are all things we're doing and dropping numbers is actually something anyone could do. Um, that's not real. I mean, I'm glad, you know, kudos to the Jackals guys for um, doing some tuning, uh, spending one day on the dyno and releasing some numbers, but that's just not the name of the game here. We're, we're working on releasing a world class uh, product. So, yeah, I mean, to, to, yeah, uh, I mean, so, so I think we feel perfectly fine about yeah, it. Yeah. I, I was, I was sharing numbers with Jose, like the day we were working on it, you know, just to get a, you know, collaborate and, and talking about how things were going and what was at and the various configurations, because we've done a ton of R D, not just on getting numbers with a car with a setup. We've, yeah changed, you know, headers on it. We've got done a bunch of uh, various back pressure testing and other, uh, you know, uh, development work to know where to focus and what parts, uh, you know, should be required on this. Um, we've run it on multiple cars. We've run it in, you know, on, we've gone done track days with it. We've done yeah. a ton of uh, other testing, spending, you know, two, three days on a dyno to get a number or a couple numbers on some different octanes. That's a, a probably the smallest development yeah. side of this. Like that's, that's, yeah, that's a couple of days of time on the dyno, the rest of it, putting it all together, making it all drive properly making all the transmission transmission shift properly, making all the, you know, IAT comps, all the, you know, the, your volumetric efficient, all of the, all of the other yeah. calibration work is what takes the time and then testing it. So, you know, you've got something you can deliver reliably that's going to work on all these setups. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, ma making some, some numbers and, you know, quote unquote, dropping them is, it's fine. It's it's just not that much work. It's not that hard to do, and it doesn't mean that that's a that's a finished calibration that's ready for people to drive on. Right. Yeah. I mean, we could have dropped numbers in August. We had numbers then. Yeah. And, and actually, we can drop drop some numbers. Yeah. Today. And sure. Why not? I mean, well, if that's why what... don't you pull up what you have, and it's fine. We can, we can share the the numbers we've produced. I think they're they're consistent from what I saw with what Jankel posted. I they're yeah. I, it, there with no baseline, it's really hard to know. Uh, yeah, things are, I'll try and find something. It's a pain in the butt to share from the dynamic to here. It's not working out. Um, but yeah, no, the peak, peak numbers. Yeah, there's another so question hard. about like Jackal, quote unquote, tuned it quickly and produced the same numbers. Uh, you know, again, you know, spending an afternoon on the dyno and cranking the boost up and making, uh, you know, another mm -hmm. 50, 60, you know, wheel or whatever is really easy. That's, that's not, that's not a tune. That's not a calibration. Um, our, our tuning will definitely be different. Um, we will have uh, all all the 
the, the quality engineering that we have in our current file, um, it, it will be a, 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 a the best, you know, most uh, competently engineered tune on the market where we will actually go in and uh, we actually, we don't fudge anything. Uh, I don't, I don't want to go into too much details here, but um, yeah, no, our, our, our tune, I think um, will, will set the standard on the market. Um, I know there's uh, very enthusiastic support for, for some other companies um, and no one's mind will be changed and that's okay. You know, you go, you go run whatever we're tune you want. We're here to serve the people who are looking for a quality tune uh, with, with, with the type of engineering that we've been putting into this tune for the last, you know, eight years in the BA market. Um, doing things quickly, getting things out quickly, that's not the hallmark of, of a good engineering effort, unfortunately. They somewhat yeah. reputable given the recent clout and other cars they do. All I'm saying is they were able to produce public outcomes after a few days and you all had it for months with and none for us. I'm not sure what he's trying to say, but I mean, like I said, yeah, anybody... it's not like we haven't had numbers to share. We've just chosen not to share them. I'm not sure what this proves. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's like, it's like saying there's two guys that are having sex with women and one of the guys talks about the sex he has the very next day or that night. Like when, when he finishes up, he's texting about the sex and we, we don't talk about it. It doesn't mean we're not having sex with people you know i'm not sure what i'm not sure what these uh i'm not sure what it proves that they 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 just simply released some information about their own tuning efforts and we've just simply chosen not to yeah i don't think it, i think there's some idea that that infers some kind of capability that we don't have because we don't talk about uh, yeah, no. the numbers. Because obviously we've been talking with jose about it we've done a lot of uh again back and forth on the hardware <laughs> side um it's, yeah, 0-3-4 doesn't kiss himself. Kiss yeah, that's right. I mean, <laughs> so no, it's, it's, I don't think, let's uh, this this put it clearly, like, you look at Unitronic, APR, AMS, Motorsport, Cobb, and what are, what are the most reputable tuning, com other reputable, integrated engineering, let's put them in the list, you know, uh, who else? United Motorsports, um, what other tuning? Like, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it, 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 tell me any tuning company out there that does it professionally at the level that we do it. Um, they're not doing blow by blow updates about every tune they're working on. Right. That's just not something engineering companies do. Uh, banks, you know, Gail Banks af af after one afternoon on the dyno isn't going on Facebook, you know, saying we made, you know, 60 more power, you know. Yeah, with no testing. So, I mean, you know, it's like I said, good for them if they want to, yeah. you know, share blow by blow. I, I think. They'll probably regret it at some point. It'll come to bite them. But, uh, you know, good for them. But it doesn't mean that they're better at doing something than anyone else. So it's kind of a silly, silly notion. <clears throat> Up one there. Zero through four wines and dines you before ripping your guts up. <laughs> Is that good? I think that's a good thing. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or not. I mean, uh, metaphorically ripping guts, but not actually. I mean, that would be bad. That sounds like I can't keep up. That sounds like someone having sex with a horse or something. Not not pleasant at all. <laughs>